In our Bay Area Proud series, we love to share one-of-a-kind stories, tales where the stars align to create something special. Well, six years ago, Garvin told us about one of those. And although it turns out it wasn't a kind because one of a kind because it actually happened again. And Garvin joins us now to tell us more about that. Jess, I often mention how many Bay Area Proud stories we've done, mainly because I'm super proud of it. Earlier this week, we aired our 800th story. Now, I often get asked which one is my favorite, and I couldn't possibly choose one. But I can definitively say what was the most watched and shared of all those stories. Well, now there's more to that story. In 2016, we met Megan Topping then just six years old, when she and her mom Karen were fostering, rescuing, and training dogs out of their Morgan Hill home. Back then, a dog they had once fostered, Daisy, had run away from its new home in Hollister. For months, experienced rescuers tried and tried and failed to capture Daisy, finally asking Megan and Karen for help. The pair drove to Hollister and found Daisy in a field. Megan jumped out of the truck and lay down near her. As Karen watched and recorded, the dog that had run for so long from so many well-meaning adults oh, good girl. succumbed to the charms I am so proud of, my kid. of this six-year-old dog whisperer. The best Megan told us at the time it was Daisy that she'd get the credit. She told me. Because you can talk to dogs in your brain. Yeah, that was quite naive. <laughs> well, a few things have changed since then. Megan is now 12 years old, and she and Karen live in Wairika in Siskiyou County, working with Rescue Ranch, running a sanctuary and adoption center for hundreds of dogs. People can't surrender their animals there, but one day last month, that's just what a couple came in hoping to do. So they were given a lot of resources and a lot of help, but um, when they went back out to their car, they decided to leave the dog in the parking lot and take off down the driveway. And the dog started to chase their car down towards the highway. The staff stopped the dog, named Sage, from getting to the road, but it was now trapped and frightened in the middle of a field. Your phone. Sound familiar? And you're like, I've seen this play before. Yeah, I know, it looked exactly the same. It not only looked the same, but played out the same way. Megan taking the initiative and Karen starting to record. Down. And then I was able to inch, inch by inch by inch, get closer to her where when I got two, three feet away from her, I sat quietly and she, I literally felt her energy go from tense, hard, scared to she's relaxed. And then she came right up to me and let me catch her without a problem. The skills Megan had at six are clearly still there at 12. Good job, Whisper. And will we wager be there for many more years to come? That's just remarkable. Yeah. So I Megan, I'm speechless. You know, Megan now laughs at her six-year-old self, who said she could talk to dogs in her brain. I she think says, she's still talking well, to dogs. She, she says, she says, yeah. yeah, that was a bit naive, but actually, what's behind that is is exactly the same. And she says, what she knew instinctively then and has learned more since now mm -hmm. is when in this situation, she not only tries to match the dog energy, but then slowly, step by step, bring it down, oh. like lower her heart rate, lower her breathing, low, you know. And as she does that. She watches that happen to the dog as well till it gets down in the calm and it's comfortable. So, That's yeah, remarkable. she's got a gift, but she's really skilled and she really works at it. And in those situations, right. she clearly knows what to do. Wow, that is impressive. Very yeah. impressive. She's going to transfer those skills to people. Also. <laughs> That'd be amazing.